Hey, what's up, cousins? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday that you got your word in and that you're feeling ready for the week ahead. Um, we're going to jump right into the news stories. Before we do, please give this video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs up before you leave, at least, and share it out with your family and your friends. And if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and Leave me some comments. Let me know if you're new to the channel or not. And also let me know what you think about this story. Um, it is the weirdest thing. So it's an update to what I was talking about when it comes to um, the Target store that closed indefinitely, um, at least until they figure out whether or not they can save that store or not. It is shut down because of a landslip. Well, we're going to get into what's happening with that store now. And also um, there is another grocery store that is closing. So we're going to lead with the grocery store that's closing and then jump into the Target one, if you don't mind. So give me just a few moments to share my screen. So this is the Save-A-Lot that is located at 3736 Sock Trail, closed on Friday. The signs on the door encourage customers to visit the Save-A-Lot in 3310 Chicago Road in Chicago Heights. Of course, this is in the Chicago area where this closure is taking place. Another Chicago store has shut down. Um, this is going to make it very difficult for a lot of communities because usually a Save-A-Lot is in a not so good area. Um, so it's going to make it difficult for those who, you know, needed that save a lot. Even the mayor said that he shopped at that save a lot and didn't know it was closing until he walked into it. So he said, well, they say in Richtown Park and Park Forest officials say that they are grappling with how to attract grocery stores with the closure of the save a lot. They want another grocery store to move into that area. Elise Zimmerman uh, who has lived in the park for 20 years said that she was upset about the save a lot closing because park forest park forest doesn't have a grocery store and the save a lot was the closest to her home. So again, people are having to travel further out to get to the grocery store now. And if you don't have a vehicle, it's going to be even more harder to, to get the food that you need for your family. She also said that, um, Her partner, Ben, travels by his bike to the grocery shop because they don't have reliable transportation. Said the area needs a grocery store that sells fresh foods and is accessible to residents without vehicles. We want to go shopping in our town and support our town, she says. We need a grocery store. We need an appropriate store in the area. The Save a Lot opened in Richtown, Park 17 years ago. Nah, that's a long time it's been there. And was a 15,000 square foot facility anchoring a 30,000 square foot commercial strip, according to the Village News release. The property owner said that in 2021, Yellow Banana took over the Save a Lot chain. Yellow Banana decided to close its Richton Park location because of property taxes. Here we go with them taxes again. Cook County came up with a program in the past years to give grocery store owners property tax breaks if their store is located within a food desert. So um, the officials told Yellow Banana about that program, but owners didn't take advantage of it. I wonder why. Unfortunately, they never pursued it. That particular program did require that they make an investment into the store but would have helped substantially from the property tax perspective. The Food Empowerment Project, a nonprofit organization focused on encouraging healthy food choices, defines food deserts as areas where access to affordable health food options is restricted or non-existent due to the absence of a grocery store and their distance. I would say we do have a grocery in town, the Walmart location. So we do have one. 
So they do have a Walmart, but unfortunately on the east side of town, we don't have access to grocery stores. Can you imagine a whole side of town not having not one grocery store? Oh my goodness. That area is a food desert, but we do have the availability of grocery shopping at the Walmart on the other side of town. Uh, this is... Talking about the employees, finding other jobs. It's just the same old, same old, you guys, honestly, um, without reading all of this and just scanning it really quick. It's the same old, same old, you know, um, you can get those property taxes. Like, you know, what I'm saying Walmart pops up here and there because they get these tax write-offs basically um but they have to invest in the community and i guess this particular company did not want to invest into into the community they just wanted to take from the community so um they can't afford the property tax so anyway let's go on to the next um the next story is, is a sad situation it's like a constant thing that we're always we're seeing these stores closing up, whether it's not enough foot traffic or the lease is too expensive. We, we try to negotiate the lease. Now it's the property tax. Just say what it is. You don't want to be there. Honestly, you just don't want to be there. Y'all can let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm going to go over to the target. Mm. Right here. Let me make sure y'all can see it. Okay. So I told you guys, um, this was on February 2nd that I told you guys about the target that was, you know, having issues with the landslip and having to evacuate. Um, mind you, YouTube didn't push that video a lot, but still yet, I'm telling you about it again because there is a follow-up story to it because it's gotten worse. Uh, so there's video also that shows Target stores sliding down hillside in West Virginia as the store is forced to close. So let's check out the video. Well, now let me tell you about it first and then we can look at that video. So a Target store in Barbersville, West Virginia has shut down until further notice after slipping hillside caused it to partially collapse. I didn't realize it was that bad. I saw the road, you know, shifted and stuff like that in the back of it, but I didn't realize how bad it was. So Target was forced to evacuate. The neighbors behind the Target, at least three of the homes, um, were given voluntary evacuation orders. I don't know if they left or not. It never said if they did. Target um, for sure said that they were going to um, pay for hotel rooms or whatever concerning the neighbors in the back. And I believe they're still going to pay their employees while they're not. But I don't know. Let me get into it and see. Um, so a target store in Barsville, West Virginia has shut down until further notice after the slipping hillside caused it to partially collapse. The safety of our team, guests and neighbors is our top priority, they say. And we are continuing to work with our Barbersville um, store to address the recent land movement. And that's what Target said on Friday. The company said that they will start working towards removing the damaged portions of the store starting this week and will take additional steps to prepare for construction in the coming months. Um, they continue to closely assess the condition of the site and partner with local officials to secure the area and repair the store as safely as possible. So they do want to repair it and open it back up. But the reason they said it was indefinitely closed, I believe, is because they don't know how bad it was and now is even worse and what it's going to take to actually get it back to where it needs to be, how long that's going to take. So the store in Barsville was initially closed on February 2nd, <clears throat> excuse me, when the hill first slipped, 
Um, and the company called in structural engineers and utility workers to assess the broken water and sewer lines on the property. However, it received major damage on Wednesday morning um, due to further slipping overnight. This is what the store looks like right here. Look at that. That's a huge drop. That is a huge drop. That's insane because if you see right here, this is your curb. Now you got your curb all the way down here. And I guess, you know, you got homes back here on the other side of these trees right here. That's insane. So Barbersville Mayor um, last week said that other businesses in the plaza will continue to be operational and not believed to be in any danger. I would still be concerned if I was them. However, water supply to the area has been limited per eyewitness news as authorities investigate the slipping hill, causing um, hindrances for other businesses in the area. West Virginia American Water spokesperson told the media outlet that the initial slip on February 2nd damaged its water main. Portable toilets have been set up nearby to facilitate businesses that are still open in the area and their customers. Um, three homes behind the Target store received voluntary evacuation orders or notices from Target before Wednesday slip. The company also offered to cover the relocation costs for the residents of, their, of those homes, according to the mayor. Target in their statement to USA Today said that local officials notified nearby homeowners of the situation and that the company is taking steps to support them. Um, they also added that the perimeter and roadway behind the building also received significant damage. But they're warning people to stay away because people want to, you know, people want to see, people want to see in person what's happening. So they're saying that in an update on Wednesday, um, they said that outsiders were invading the neighborhood and said that Target is trying to keep people safe. Law enforcement will be diligent in extra patrols, but please give these people some privacy and the construction team room to work. It's sad you got to say that, but you got to say that. Um, so let's go to the video. That, it's just crazy to look at that. Thankfully, this power line is sitting here. Hopefully it's not affected because this road, all of this right here should be up here. Look at that circle. Hanging on. Hanging on by thread. Hanging on by thread. Let's see if this video shows up better view let me um first of all let me try to make it a little bit bigger so you can maybe see it let's see yeah it's not gonna make it bigger you guys so i'm just gonna play it oh, no sound so it's the overhead shot right here, the side view. Now you see that dip right there. And look, there are cars right there. Back up, Tommy. Look at the cars right there. Good thing it wasn't any in this area. I would assume workers park over there on the side. That's absolutely insane. But anyway, you guys, I wanted to show you an update, show you this video also so you can get a good view of the fact that this target is closed indefinitely. No, oh, it's replaying. I'm trying to see when it happened. It's a good bit of people that were there when this happened. I don't know about the other side of the store, you know, if customers were there or not, but there's a good bit of people there working so that's what's happening in this news hopefully you can use please share it out with your family and your friends and i'll see you later on today and let me stop sharing my screen
screen if I can find my mouse. Um, I'll see you guys later on today in another video. So y'all take care, stay safe. And I definitely will be doing a store walkthrough later today. So turn your notifications on if you have not. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, y'all, please go ahead and subscribe. We would love for you to become a part of the family. Um, over here, we're doing news you can use. I'm not going to do as much news you can use, but I am going to still do news you can use. But I also will be doing my home setting and my cooking over here. Um, as this is a home setting channel to show you how we are trying to become a little more self-sufficient, grow our own food, raise our own animals and cut back on, you know, some of that grocery store spending on things that um, we can do ourselves. So I see y'all in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, please go out and spread God's love. Peace, love and light. Thanks for being here on Time Bites Homestead.